we use try algorithm along with uh, edit distance then uh, prefix matching and this ranking so these three techniques along with the try algorithm to build something like a auto correction algorithm for us okay so this is the structure of a try node hey everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to discuss one of the important algorithms that plays a crucial role in implementing a feature like auto correction right you must have seen this auto correction feature when when you type some wrong word in grammarly it auto corrects it with your with the correct word or let's say in whatsapp when you type something it gives you suggestions right it is giving th three suggestions to you right the heart of this auto correction technique is the try data structure okay t r i e try so so what does try data structure means so try is it's kind of a tree of characters okay i mean so basically how try works is it's a uh, we store a predefined dictionary of valid words in the try okay as you can see we have a root node don't worry i'll show you the code also for this how to implement uh, a try in c++ as you can see how we are storing the words is each word is broken down into characters basically and added as a sequence of nodes here right as you can see c a r then and two words if they share a common prefix they will have the same path along the tree right C A R T we are having and then C A T we are having like this. So for this example we have taken only two nodes C and D and there will be other nodes also like this. Okay. Now let's just see the code once. Okay. How to implement the try. So if you can see here. So this is the structure of a try node. This code I have taken from Geeks for Weeks just for reference. Okay. And each node if you can see there is a array of twenty six pointers. Each node has an array of pointers called child nodes. Okay. And each node has a property called word end. Okay. Why 26? Because A to Z are 26 characters. That's what we are considering here. Okay. Now, how do you insert a word into a particular try? And for that, we'll have uh, this insert key function. If you can see here, what do we do here? Basically, we traverse character by character. Okay. We start from the root and traverse character by character. And here we are using the ASCII character uh, computation to get the ASCII value of this character. And we'll use that as the index for this list. Okay. For this pointer list if the particular character is not present in the tree we create a new node and we move on to the next node okay so basically we will insert c then insert a then insert r so that's how we insert the particular words in a in, in the try now in order to search a given key in a try this is how what we do we basically traverse the uh, traverse the try okay across the length of the string and we traverse the try character by character until we reach the word end okay so that's how we try to search a key in a given try so this is the code to implement a try okay now we'll see how auto correction actually works okay so what does the uh, auto correction te uh, technique do it's try to find the similar words right which is matching with the corresponding input word if you have inputted let's say a wrong word like this c double a r it will try to find out a similar matching words or list of matching words and how do you do that it uses two techniques basically okay the first one is the edit distance it calculate the edit distance now what does mean by edit distance so edit distance basically measures how many edits or small changes that means the small changes can be a insert operation okay deletion operation or substitution operation okay basically we want to insert one character into uh, into that uh, given input string or we want to delete one character from the given input string or we want to subject uh, substitute a given character from the input word string so edit distance basically measures how many operations we need to do okay any one of these operations or any one or more of these operation how many of these operations we need to do to convert this user input word to a valid word in the try okay so basically to calculate the edit distance there is a popular algorithm called levenstein algorithm okay the algorithm name is levenstein algorithm so so it basically you know allows for efficient calculation of the minimum number of edits okay that is required to transform a given string into a valid string in the try so we are not going to discuss in uh, this about this levenstein algorithm uh, but in brief i'll tell you the two main important input to this algorithm are the input word obviously with the user is given and a mac parameter called max distance okay so now what does max distance means this is this exactly means the number of number of operations okay of this that is allowed okay so let's say we uh, assume that max distance is one so you can choose your own max distance based on your uh, 
application requirement like how many edit operations uh, you can allow let's say we assume max efficiency is one that means we are allowing only one operation only one of these operations using this Leven uh, levenstein algorithm and this max distance calculation let's say the input word is c double a r right here now if we employ edit distance technique in order to convert this c double a r right you can convert it to uh, a valid word called cat if we what if we remove if we just uh, substitute this a for t right basically it, it, it becomes c a t r even it it, it it is not a valid word but the pre, the sub, substring of the c a t c a t which falls along the way it it is a valid word okay and how do we determine it's a valid word because as soon as a word is valid what we do we mark that node okay end node right and not end node or the word end is true basically if you can see we had this word end flag right for a, for a given node so if a particular node makes a valid word right then we mark it as red so this also has to be marked as red because dog is a valid word then doge is again a valid word okay so word end doesn't mean the node ends there or it's a leaf node it's not like that it just marks that the path that we have traversed so far okay it's a valid word okay that's what it just does now similarly if we just remove this a from this uh, car we, we get cr right which is again a valid word so using just max distance as one in this in this case that means here we just performed one substitution operation to get uh, catr from this and here we performed one removal operation to get car from c double a r so using the max distance of one we are able to get two candidate okay two candidate solution for uh, our use case so we have got now uh, cat and car right and the next technique to uh, generate candidates for similar words are the prefix matching right if you can see when we will be searching for this word in the try okay using our search algorithm that we have written here so what we will do we will first go for c right c is there obviously the next character is a a is present in try so let's move to the uh, this node a node then the next character is again a then we see that there is no node i mean the a, the node pointer for the character a is empty here right that means we have reached until this node and after that the pointers are not available so in this case what we will do we will use utilize the prefix that we have traversed so far right so till now we have traversed c here right now we will utilize this and then generate words that are coming after it okay from this prefix we will traverse all the valid possible paths in the try and uh, put it in the candidate uh, candidate list so how uh, the words we get is uh, get are c a r t and let's say there is one word called c a r e also okay and this will also be marked as red because this this is a valid word c r e so these are the let's say some of the candidate solutions we got okay let me just color it in a different color color now using this candidate solution then the third technique we want to employ is to we want to employ a ranking algorithm on this right so what we can do along with this each node right so in each node we can introduce a uh, parameter called frequency along with word node we can have a, another property called frequency in each node which will store how many fre how many frequently the particular word has been used by the user okay let's say the word cat is used 10, 10 times by the user so this this node will have frequency as 10 let's say the word cart has been used by 30 times so the, the this node will have uh, frequency is 30 right now once we got this candidate solutions right then what we'll do we'll use those frequency value to rank this right let's say cat had uh, frequency as 30 then car had let's say 45 cart has let's say 33 and care had let's say 2 so then what we'll do we'll rank them according to their frequency to give the top three suggestions let's say and in in our case it will be car cart and cat let's say right so these are top three suggestions that we can give to the user i mean this is just one naive uh, explanation of how we can use the try algorithm to implement something like this uh, auto correction and spell checkers that's how you know we use try algorithm along with uh, edit distance then uh, prefix matching and this ranking so these three techniques along with the try algorithm to build something like a auto correction algorithm for us okay or auto correction tool for us so 
I hope you understood about the try data structure in detail. If you got any doubts about whatever we discussed in this video, put them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer them. So if you like this video, let's target for 30 likes for this video and subscribe to my channel. We're targeting to reach 2200 subscribers by the end of this month. So keep supporting. So you can check out my other playlist uh, named system design by real life use cases where I include uh, use cases and explain uh, system design concepts using these use cases. We'll definitely uh, like them. Just uh, check them out. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.